Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often asked about, but rarely discussed in detail, the combination of antibiotics and alcohol. Specifically, we're looking at cefiroxime, a commonly prescribed antibiotic, and its interaction with alcohol. Let's get started. Cefiroxime is an antibiotic in the cephalosporin family, used to treat a wide range of bacterial infections. It comes in tablet or liquid form, often under the name keftin. Doctors prescribe cefuroxime for conditions like sinusitis, gonorrhea, urinary tract infections, Lyme disease, impetigo otitis media, bronchitis, and pharyngitis, among others. Cefuroxime works by interfering with the bacteria walls, causing them to break and die. The dosage varies depending on the infection being treated. Now. Let's talk about the combination of cefiroxime and alcohol. There are no specific warnings against this combination, but in some patients it may be ill-advised. People with existing liver and kidney disease can be at risk of complications, especially if they combine cefiroxime with alcohol. The alcohol can overload their livers in combination with the medication and may interfere with metabolism, leading to abnormal levels of the drug in the bloodstream. Some patients experience extreme nausea, vomiting, and intestinal cramping when they combine cefiroxime and alcohol. This tends to be more common in people with a history of alcoholism or heavy drinking. Patients with a history of excess alcohol consumption should discuss the pros and cons of cefiroxime treatment with their doctor. If you notice symptoms like nausea, dizziness, or disorientation after combining the two, it's important to discuss this with a medical professional. In people who are healthy, with no history of heavy alcohol consumption, there are usually no specific risks with cefiroxime and alcohol. However, if you experience side effects, you may be advised to avoid alcohol for the duration of therapy. Medical professionals may recommend against combining cefiroxime and antalcohol from the very start with the goal of preventing complications. If you're unsure about the combination, always ask for advice. The cefiroxime tablet can be taken with or without food. However, the liquid form must be taken with food. It's crucial to take the medicine exactly as your doctor has prescribed it to avoid complications. Do not crush the tablets. If you plan on drinking alcohol while on cefiroxime, having food in your stomach may be beneficial to prevent sickness. If you've been advised to avoid alcohol while taking cefiroxime, it's recommended to wait 72 hours after your last dose of the antibiotic before you can drink alcohol again. Remember, alcohol naturally weakens the immune system. So, if you're battling a bacterial infection, it may be in your best interest to avoid alcohol altogether until you have finished your medication and are no longer experiencing symptoms. Avoiding alcohol even after finishing your medication, ensures your immune system can fully recover. Alcohol not only weakens your immune system, but could prevent you from getting enough sleep, which also weakens the immune system. That's all for today's topic. Remember, your health is your wealth. Always consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication or alcohol consumption. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Until next time, stay healthy and safe.